All right, welcome back. I've been working on the bridge here and uh, kind of learning to airbrush a little bit and uh, a lot of credit for whatever it is I've come up with here uh, goes to uh, Boomer on uh, Boomer Dioramas. So uh, this was uh, airbrushed. I, I put the kit together. I think I've mentioned it before. There was a lot of uh, filling and stuff that needed to happen and I, I tried to find file all that stuff down as best I could and then kind of kind of piece this guy together uh, and then painted it and I've painted it with these colors right here so I used the uh, Tamiya XF 66 the light gray was my primer coat I uh, got a good bit of coverage with that and then I used all these other colors so you've got uh, flat earth buff deck tan. I really like this. Uh, I think it's the Japanese Navy gray, but it's got some green to it that I thought worked really well for uh, for cement. Uh, so highlights from all these guys and a little bit of this and a little bit more of this uh, kind of down, you know, the center of the traffic and then in the center and in the cracks, I use a little bit of the black and a little bit of the brown. Um, there's actually a decent amount of that, that Japanese Navy uh, gray. Um, I've also uh, done, this is just cut out of foam, um, and that is mostly the primer gray uh, as of yet. Uh, same with this piece here. And those will ultimately be, if I stand up, <laughs> working right above the workbench, those will be here and here as the sort of beams that the bridge sits on, and then the one in the middle I'm going to use. Uh, painted that with the same, sort of the same series of colors there, uh, so that's where that'll go. And uh, before I glue it together, I'll make sure I've got clearance on cars and stuff, but I, I think I'm going to be good. Uh, that outer radius curve is like, like if I think it was 27 or 28 inch radius, so decently broad curves. Um, so hopefully, and, I'm, and I only use, you know, 40 foot cars modeling the 1950s, so I should have plenty of clearance through there, but I will test it. Well, that's kind of where we are. Um, it's actually, I, I usually make these videos, uh, you know, I try to, you know, do a little update each week. And I usually do this, you know, I release the videos on Tuesday. I like to have them fully rendered and edited and everything by the time work starts on Monday. It's already Friday night, so I've spent all week messing around uh, with this bridge. Um... It's a lot of coats of heavily diluted isopropyl, or uh, <laughs> heavily diluted with isopropyl alcohol. These Tamiya paints, like I said, I've I've kind of learned from from Boomer uh, on on this finish. But there's a lot of layers of paints, and I would do a layer and then realize I needed to come in and add some more uh, putty to a little pit in the in the model. Do that, file it down. Of course, then I'd need to kind of touch it up a little bit. And so here we are, Friday. But I think that's done gonna turn my attention to this area up here. Uh, I think the plan is I'm going to uh, flip this guy over and glue those onto the bottom of the bridge and then lay the whole thing down and you know fill in where I need to let nice and level and then build the scenery around it. So I think that's the approach I'm going to take. Uh, more to come as I figure it out. All right well this week there's been a lot of off-camera stuff just working on this kit but lots of fill and uh you know filling this is actually two pieces on the end that came together and so that seam you know I was working putty in there and filing it down and all along the top of the, the railing just to kind of blend it in and I feel like those kind of plastic defects would just really stand out so I think I've got that done and now I'm moving on to uh, actually dropping this in I'm gonna go ahead and glue the the bridge down um, and then I'll slide in the, the center piling uh, where it's going to go check for clearance and stuff like that and uh, that's the plan but yeah I think I think I'm done working on it I didn't really show a whole lot of it but it's kind of what the scene's going to look like I'm digging it I think it's going to look cool uh, nice little scene break there something interesting to draw the eye into an otherwise sort of boring arc of track over here so uh, we'll keep plugging away all right, a little in progress here. Uh, two things. Uh, one, I've got, and it's a little rough cut. I'm going to come over that with uh, sculpting mold and stuff. But I've got the, the sub road bed for the road kind of in on, uh, on both sides. I'm just being glued down. And what sort of sat up above the three inches I had here. This is three one-inch sections of foam. 
And I did that because I wanted to have just extra little bit of clearance under there. It's still not uh, up to NMRA standards, but I don't have any double deck anything. Um, I run the 1950s uh, and every car I have clears that thing by at least an inch. So plenty of room, but uh, I didn't want to go any lower just in case I have a steam engine at some point or who knows. So that's what's going on up there. And then down here on the workbench with the foam cutter that I've been playing with here, I peeled off a few very thin, like paper thin sections of foam here to kind of replicate. This is the one section of the bridge that I didn't use. And these basically just match that. I cut them real thin, I uh, got the length and the width right, close enough. And then I just sort of laid this up next to it and used the back of an X-Acto knife. So not the, not the blade, but sort of this way, upside down. And just gently scored that. And I did that on all the pieces I'm gonna be using for the road that will connect in here and off that end. So that's where we are. Progress is happening. Uh, a whole lot of stuff this week was on the bridge itself, which uh, I didn't show a ton of that. So anyway, um, that's where we are. More to come. Quick in progress. Lots and lots of sculpt mold. So we've got uh, backdrop and bridge covered and doing sculpt mold. Got both sides done. Got all the track protected there. Got that side done as well. And kind of thinking about Let's see if I can find a good angle for this. This is kind of leaving, leaning over the workbench, which you probably never do. But right here, there's a little indention. And I'm gonna have that be where the water drains off the road and goes down into a ditch. That'll tie into the one we've already got. Uh, and you know, that way it would be downhill. So just thinking about the water, thinking maybe that'll give me a little bit of realism maybe. But uh, yeah, that's what we're looking like. And I am going to do some really heavy scrub and maybe even some small trees there uh, to kind of block that that road, you know, just stops. We've talked about that before, but uh, that's the plan there. And this is what she's looking like. So this is, you know, getting to be pretty firm, but I can feel, my son and I just did this this afternoon. I can feel that that's, uh, you know, it's not it's not fully dry yet, but it's, it's, it's firm. It's just, uh, I can, I'm not ready to paint it yet. Gonna, gonna let it sit overnight. Um, and this is, uh, I think we did six batches of, uh, of the homemade sculpt mold uh, that I've talked about, not my homemade way, but uh, Dave's uh, from Crooked River with uh, I bought the cellulose and the plaster of Paris and I mix them two to one and then enough water to like, here I used a fairly thin, on the steeper areas, I used a thicker sculpt mold, especially over here, it's really steep. So that was fairly thick. And uh, that's where we are, more to come. demonstrating the technique we just showed in the time lapse. He's just brushing it on and working it into all the little grooves and cracks. And that's just cheap brown, you know, mud colored, brown colored latex paint. He's working it onto the sculptable. And while it is wet, we'll sprinkle on some of those ground foams. Fix it in place with isopropyl alcohol and watered down Mod Podge, just like we did back there. All right, William's got in his strainer there. It's just Woodland Scenics Fine Blend Burnt Grass. Good base color, just like we did on the other side. So he'll go over this whole area like this. We'll try some 
some other colors mixed in, but mostly burnt grass, and we'll mix in some weeds and some you know, earth colors and a little bit of those yellow flowers, and, and we'll call it good. Most of this will get cut up, covered up with static grass or whatever we decide to do. Good job, William. All right, so William's spraying a little isopropyl alcohol on our blend of Woodland Scenics grasses. It's gonna get it a good soak so that the glue can really flow in and fix all this stuff to the layout. Good job, William. All right, William's now working with the very diluted Mod Podge on top of that area we just covered with isopropyl alcohol. You just spread it all around, William. It will soak in and dry clear, don't worry. Excellent. All right, well this week is coming to an end, so I'm gonna wrap it up. Uh, just to show that we did, uh, did indeed get both sides. Got the little, you know, the dirt coming down the little, the little ditch there where the water would drain off the road. I'll eventually tie that in uh, long into that ditch. Uh, so that's, that's where we are. Uh, the last thing we did is I came in underneath where the pink foam was underneath the bridges and just gave it a first rough coat of a, of a gray color. Uh, and William and I decided to use uh, mostly country gray, I'd say two parts country gray to one part elephant gray. Just mixed it up on a piece of cardboard there used some cheap brushes and just kind of worked it underneath here. Um, what we're eventually gonna do, we haven't done it yet, is we're gonna do some riprap on there. Um, so we will do that. We'll of course uh, ballast this area of track, but all that'll be uh, next week. So this is where we are for now. Uh, we will leave it here. So we still need to ballast the track, do the riprap, and we're gonna try some static grass. Uh, and then of course the road itself uh, will we'll, we'll, uh, we'll be installed in a future uh, episode as well. So here's where we are. Looks less like pink foam and less like Mars. So making progress. And we will uh, see you next week. Be well and safe.